In this video, we're going to be taking our first look at the Adidas Solar Boost 5. I'm going to tell you everything I like about this daily trainer from Adidas and some of the things I don't like as well. and our quest to find a daily trainer from Adidas that's not terrible. Yes, we are back on a hunt for a daily trainer from Adidas that actually is any good because the Ultra Boost 23 unfortunately didn't work out because they didn't put any foam under the forefoot uh, and some of the other shoes are just overweight and terrible. But the good news is the Solar Boost 5 is here and you know what? It's not that bad. Okay, so uh, how these videos work, uh, first impressions, so that means like 20 something miles, at least three runs uh, along there, so whatever, in somewhere between that. Um, but the most important thing is we actually run in the thing. Uh, we then, uh, I'm gonna give you the things I like about it, things I don't like about it, but before we do all of that, I'm gonna tell you the stats and features of this shoe real quick. Okay, so the Solar Boost 5 from Adidas is £150, but I've already seen it cheaper than that. Uh, it's 10.85 ounces, so that's over 300 grams. We've got new Light Boost uh, midsole, I'll come on to that. We've also got uh, a LEP 2.0, it's like been simplified and they've renewed it. Again, I'll show you some of that. We've got Continental Rubber outsole, mesh upper, 10 mil drop. We've got 32 mil stack in the heel. Uh, we've got this big heel counter, it's like called a control platform for some silly reason, and it fits true to size. Okay, right, so daily trainer from Adidas. I think the biggest noticeable thing here is the light boost, which is, I think, 30% lighter and it gives you more energy in return. It's still that traditional boost, which some people are fans of, some people aren't. I'm not only that fussed about it. I prefer Light Strike Pro, for example. Uh, this is the hill counter thing that I was referring to. It's called a control right down uh, platform worst name ever but it's almost like a big hill clip that runs around which i think good actually it adds some sort of stabilization guidance uh it reminds me very much and actually the whole shoe reminds me very much of the puma forever run nitro uh it's really nice feeling around the heel and around the collar uh, it's got a comfortable tongue on it which is gusseted lockdown's good uh, upper's okay it's not the most expensive thing in the world but it's not the cheapest thing in the world it's got a nice wide platform on it and actually looking at the bottom of the shoe we've got a fantastic outsole from continental uh, we've got this lep system so that's like a plastic ring that runs all the way around it and that's there for a little bit of propulsion but also a little bit of stabilization it's been simplified because they've got rid of some of the plastic that they didn't need in it so that's reduced the weight as well and i think that's probably about it in terms of the setup of the shoe and some of those stats and features right so let's do the things i like about it i actually like uh the feeling of the shoe i like the setup of the shoe i like light boost um i enjoyed it in the ultra boost 22 i just wish there was more of it um i like the fit of the shoe i like the upper on the shoe i really like the outsole this outsole is brilliant it really is it's such a good outsole it really is uh, it's just it just does you know like the basics well, and I really appreciate that. It reminds me very much of the Reebok Carbon Rubber outsole that you get on the float ride shoes. It really is good. The fit's good on it, uh, it's comfortable. Uh, I like the stable ride of it. I like the wide platform. Um, I like the sort of, I don't know if you can see this, it feels like you've got like a, a ring of protection around your foot. It just feels really nice and, and sitting in there. Um, I like the ride, I said I mentioned that about the light boost. Yeah, they're probably most of the things I like about it. I'm struggling a little bit to find dislikes, uh, which is surprising, um, but I think the um, sort of limitations of the shoe is, is arguably uh, a dislike. This is not a shoe you would go particularly long in it. Um, I don't like this like whole sort of bulbous heel clip on it. It makes perfect sense to me why I've got it on it, but I just think it looks awful. I think 150 pounds is the wrong price for this shoe. This should be like 90 quid. Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, actually, that's a really good point. And we're gonna come, we're gonna skip ahead actually, just for one second, because I think this shoe at 150 quid, you shouldn't touch it with a barge pole, right? But when it's like 90 or 80 pounds, which is what you can get Solar Boost 4 for, then I think it's worth considering. Now, why is that? Because I think you've got um, a basic daily trainer, but you know, a daily trainer that does some of the you know basics well. 
the light boost uh, foam, it, you know, it is energy returning. You do feel that little pop of it. It's stable. It fits well, um, and it rides well. It grips really well. You know, you can use these on light trails. These shoes. It is that good. Um, it's comfortable, and it's yeah, it's just a basic daily trainer. Is this the best daily trainer? No, absolutely not. Is this thing going to make you feel awesome? No, absolutely not. But it is one of those shoes that I sort of class more towards those everyday shoes when I think of like the Sketches Go Ride 11. It is that sort of shoe that you can drop the kids off at dance club and then go for a run. You know, you can go to Tesco's and then go to running club. It's that sort of shoe, which I think needs a bit of kudos. So is this the best daily trainer from Adidas? Probably at the moment, yes, but this is not the shoe that I want Adidas to make. I think they can do an amazing job um, with a daily trainer, like I've said a million times before. You know, let's get some light boost action going on with some light, light strike pro in it, and then you know, max it up a little bit. And you know, let's get a little bit funky with it. I think we could make a really good daily trainer me in Adidas, but you know what? This is not the worst daily trainer I've seen from Adidas, which for me is a bold claim. Okay, so this is not much better for me, I think, than a Nike Pegasus at the moment. I know it's a bold call, but, you know, the Nike Pegasus, you know, is, is again, is a sort of daily trainer, but more towards everyday shoe. I think, you know, they're probably very similar, but this is probably a little bit better than that. Um, I think it's worth considering, but not yet. Make sure you wait. Do not pay £150 for this shoe at all. When this shoe is like 75 quid at startfitness.co.uk, that's when to maybe consider it. If you just want to shoe gym you know, like I said, Tesco's, three miles, run club, you know, that sort of thing, then this could be something to consider. Okay, guys, there you go. Uh, that's my first verdict on the Adidas Solar Boost. Uh, I'll put more miles through it. I'll come back, report back. Um, if I still feel the same, that kind of stuff. Much further down the line, we'll do a performance review as always. But that's it from me, as always. I'll catch you later. <laughs>